here in Melbourne at the city square for the Occupy Melbourne protest. This is a global movement that began in New York in Wall Street and has now moved to all parts of the world. There's a list of complex grievances from people from all walks of life, so let's have a look and find out why they're here. By the time we are finished, nothing will be the same. And what we're going to need is a bucket load of energy, a bucket load of commitment, and a bucket load of songs. So that anyone can get up here and play leader for a day, I have absolutely no political affiliation, zero experience leading a movement, but I have been an activist my whole life. Always was, always will be. No, basically all the people in this country are living on the proceeds of crime basically, namely the genocide of the First Nations and the sustained acts of terror and repression, suppression and oppression of our people. You know, if you look at what uh, constitutes or defines genocide, Australia is guilty of everything that convention says gen is genocide. Because is capitalism is pretty much ruining most of our lives and it's something that we need to overturn and replace with a system that is here for the 99 percent. What we want to see is we want to see an opportunity for people to actually have a say in the way that their lives are governed and the things that are happening around them. So that's the economic systems. When we're talking about climate change we want to talk about real solutions. When we talk about what's happening in the Middle East we want to talk about it in a way that people are actually able to involve, be involved in that. I mean, down on Wall Street there were corporate people drinking champagne watching the protesters. I mean, that to me is just, I mean, it makes me want to cry. Like, it's so sad. And it's like, all these people, they have a voice, but their voice is continuously being quieted by people with money. The Zygus movement. The Zygus movement is a movement that's right around the world. We, uh, we uh, stand for the same things as everyone else here. We think that corporate greed and capitalism are, are, are killing the society because the richest 1% control the rest. I think that for too long we've been putting up with too much from the government. We've obviously seen the government denying human rights for LGBTI people. We've seen Julie Gillard refusing to grant marriage equality. We've seen attacks on Aboriginal people. We've seen attacks on refugees. And so I think that. It's fantastic to see so many people out taking a stand on all the issues that impassion them. A lot of people in the media are saying that, you know, what do Australians have to complain about? You know, we've survived the global financial crisis quite well. We don't have much to complain about. But what we are seeing is a lack of accountability, you know, an unfair influence of, you know, giant mining companies, business councils and lobby groups, which represent the 1% most, wel most wealthy Australians, while the other 99% of Australians go relatively unrepresented, which is why everyone's here today.